What's going on Legionnaires and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. If you're new to the channel, do me a favor and hit that sub button, hit that notification bell and make sure you're not missing any of the content that we have coming out. Now, like I said in the last video, we are getting completely caught up on everything that we've been missing. And this includes today's video and this issue of Future State Legion of Superheroes issue number two. Now, before we dive into this issue, I wanted to also bring up that there will be another issue of Future State Lex vs. Superman, which I did not know. I, I thought they were doing two issues and done because that's what they had done with most of the Future State series, but it appears that there's going to be another one here in a week or two. So we'll be covering issue number three of that as well. Now, with that being said, let's dive into this issue. All right, so picking up with issue number two, we see Bounce Boy. And Bounce Boy is letting us know that he was a member of the first Legion of Superheroes. And he's putting a message out there. Maybe no one will hear it. Maybe someday someone will find it. But he keeps thinking about how the Legion of Superheroes, it was an attempt to recapture the feeling of the, the age of heroes of the 21st century. And depending on your point of view, they, they either completely failed or they were absolutely successful. Because they followed in the same exact footsteps of the original Age of Heroes. We messed up. All of them. Just like they did. And they didn't learn anything in a thousand years. But right now, Element Lad, a one-time member of the Legion, led his people in an intergalactic attack invasion across every single planet in the United Planets. At this point, they can't come back from this. It doesn't go back. And they're dealing with this for the rest of their days. In the now, Ultra Boy finally picked himself up and has attempted to reunite the Legion. And they did it. Against all odds, the Legion band together once again to bring down the, the criminal of the entire universe, Element Lad. And this is where we see our Legion all attacking Element Lad on the planet Trom. Now, as this attack is going on, the Legion, they want his head. Like, they want him on a pipe, but Element Lad doesn't seem... To be trying to kill them. More or less he's trying to run from them. And that's exactly what he lets them know. It's like I'm not trying to run from you guys. I'm just trying not to fight. And this is where we pick up with Saturn Girl. Now Saturn Girl, Brainiac and a few of the others. Are sitting here inside of a, a kind of a psychic plane. If you will. Now Element Lad wanted them to come here. This is what Saturn Girl is telling us. That's what she's reading in his mind. And he has no idea that they're there. But she's using that idea to make a distraction. So they could be inside his inside his head, inside this room, and he has no idea of what is happening. And as she's going through her through his mind, she finds something. Something that startles her. Because it wasn't Element Lad. He's not the one behind all of this. It wasn't him who betrayed and destroyed the United Planets. And she tells everybody to hold on. Because right now, they need Cosmic Boy. And though he may not want to come near them, he has to. Because this is literally life and death for the sake of the universe. And this is where we pick up on Daxum. And Reap goes to Cosmic Boy. Trying her best to convince him that he needs to come help everybody out. Because it wasn't actually Element Lad who did all of this. And she lets him know that Saturn Girl had sent me because she wants to talk to you. But she also respects your, your genuine hatred for her. And Cosmic Boy says, you know, if she wanted to talk to me, she should have come here. And though, in a sense, she is. Because she she's telepathically communicating with him through Reap. And so both Reap and Saturn Girl are communicating with Cosmic Boy right now. And Saturn Girl tells him, you have two options here. That you can stay here, or you can listen to what I have to tell you, and you can lead us in inveging the entire galaxy. And this is where we pick up a little bit later with the Legion of Superheroes headquarter on New Earth. And Cosmic Boy showing up to talk face to face with Saturn Girl. And the whole Legion comes out. And this is when Saturn Girl breaks down and tells us exactly what the issue is. Because at first Cosmic Boy thinks that maybe maybe this has something to do with Darkseid. But Saturn Girl lets them know that it was her. Her people, Titanians, they're psychic. And they work on a psychic plane which most of, of their species don't even know exist. 
And when they caught Element Lad and she looked into his mind, she found something only someone from her species could find. And only if you were looking for something, and only if you were suspicious. They can't remove things from other people's minds, but can only box them up and put them away deep, deep inside the mind. But they're still there. And what she found was a little box of truth. The truth that Elders of Titan originally agreed to let her join the Legion to begin with. It wasn't because she was the best, but because her psyche was always too passionate, too messy for a collective, and so they sent her away, let her believe that it was all her idea, and the Elders of Titan used her and her passionate psyche to infiltrate the Legion. And without anybody even knowing, they took over Element Lad. And through Element Lad, they took over all of Trom. And through Trom, they laid waste to all the planets in the United Planets. Or at least a good majority of them. All without anybody being the wiser. And this is all true. Because before coming to them with this information, Brainiac had triple checked this information. And Cosmic Boy... He feels a, a great amount of, of sympathy and empathy for her and just, you know, he tells her like, I'm so sorry. But Brainiac, Brainiac has a plan. And this is where Saturn Girl returns home to Titan. And she has a conversation with her mother about how she needs to come back. And her mother tells her that she can't, that she needs a deep cleaning and to take that thing off of her head. But Saturn Girl isn't home for a reunion. And her mother lets her know that Titanins were given power over the mind for a reason. And that reason cannot be for all the lower life forms to just expel their awful chaos onto everything. And so Saturn Girl hearing enough lets her mother know that the Legion of Superheroes has made sure that the Galactic has witnessed everything in this interaction. Everything that she has confessed. It's been broadcast. And she also informs her that the Moon Titan has been removed from the side of the galaxy and encased in a prison sphere for the rest of time. It is no longer part of the United Planets. And while she was here with her pure thoughts, Brainiac made sure her entire collective cannot hurt anyone ever again. The Titan Collective can now eat each other from the inside. And this is when Shadow Lass opens up a portal, and we see Saturn Girl fall through, only to be caught by none other than Jonathan Kent. And they have a, a really just a great reunion. Jonathan Kent's brought some new legion of superheroes, new recruits to join, and they've decided that it is in the best interest of the entire galaxy, of the entire universe, to unite, to be a team again, and to have the legion of superheroes be the defenders that they once were. And with that, they say, Long live the Legion. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I definitely think issue number two was better than issue number one. Having Saturn Girl essentially be a mole planted in originally by the Titanans and by the Elders, it was a unique twist that I did not see coming. I really thought this was just going to be a battle against Element Lad, and they were going to defeat him and call him a day. But that really ended up not being the case, and I'm really excited that that wasn't the case. Because, like I said, this was a really awesome issue. I enjoyed it. The artwork isn't really my style, and it does kind of take away from the story just a little bit. But the dialogue and, and the writing was really good in this issue. So I have to give it props in that regard. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If you have not yet, please do me a favor. Subscribe to the channel. Like this video. And until the next issue.